morning breakfast on Christmas Eve Eve and Vlogmas Day 23. I know I've talked about this before in previous vlogs, but this frother has been a game changer for us. We just used this little bad boy and some barista milk, just some soy barista milk that's $2 for the container. Is it out still? No, I'll show it to you in a sec. Anyway. It basically tastes like you're having Starbucks at home. Right now we're actually having the Starbucks holiday blend in our coffee. The unicorn likes to put a little syrup in there. Right now we're having, you're having hazelnut, right? And um, like, look at this beautiful milk. I will say this bad boy has saved us so much money and I would like it to save you money too. So it's going to be today's giveaway since I didn't do one last night. So you can head on over to my Instagram. If you too would like to have froth milk, Unicorn not included. This is the milk that we've been using. This so nice barista blend. Get it in the health food aisle at uh, Superstore. And then, if you head on over to my pantry, which definitely needs to be tidied, we got this at HomeSense, the unicorn's favorite store. <laughs> the holiday blend. So it has saved us. I don't even, how much, could you even wager a guess? Hundreds of dollars I would bet at Starbucks. Like we still like to go, but it's not an everyday thing anymore. Or a few times a day. And look at these beautiful masterpieces. So, this is coffee now. I've had comments, people saying like, why are you so obsessed with your frother? Because it's been a game changer and such a money saver. So, if you too would like to win one of these, just head on over to my Instagram. Didn't shower until 10.30, good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day 23, Christmas Eve Eve. Last night we actually watched that Friends episode where Phoebe goes, happy Christmas Eve Eve. That was exciting. You can come in, it's your truck. Yes, finally showered, got dressed, and we're leaving the house today. It's 11 o'clock, Thomas has a lunch date today. Super cute, a woman who does respite for me, her daughter's home from university and she's Miss Thomas, so they're gonna pick him up and I'm gonna bet that they take him for sushi. Um, we are going to go get medicine, liquor, and Starbucks. And then I'm also considering going and getting some ginger shots. It's time to bring in the big guns though. I think we need the Dynatap. <laughs> so you said Dynatap? Dynatap, yeah. Dynatap. And I'm not wearing a festive sweater today, but I am wearing festive leggings. Little sweet legs. Leggings. But when I say going to get coffee, we're going to get him. I ordered him a coffee. He doesn't know what kind. And then I ordered myself two of the honey citrus mint venti teas. We're not joking around today. Went to the pharmacy, got Dimatap, Benelin, Sepacol, Fisherman's Friends. I just spent $30 on cold medication. Got two of my giant honey lemon teas. Went to Nature's Fair and they were out of ginger shots. But I did pick up some veggie pepperoni because we're gonna do like a charcuterie and that'll be my meat portion of the evening. Mm. And now in the car, which one am I gonna take? Benelin. So it's just gonna be known as the Vlogmas where she was sick. It's okay, it's okay. The arrow shot back before it springs forward. The arrow shot back before it springs forward. It's a casual Christmas haul. <laughs> so we've got all the medicine and then a casual bit of cheeky um, hauling also. This, if you have never tried it, is the almond dairy-free version of Bailey's. And then if you like the classic, there was also like caramel, pumpkin spice, coffee flavored, and then a cheeky, I've never had peppermint schnapps, but someone says he makes some kind of drink with it, so. Don't worry, I'm not gonna mix these two. <laughs> I just thought it was funny that that's what we went out for. <sighs> Christmas, yeah, this cold will not best me. We've moved on to the big guns. And to me, Christmas would not be Christmas without a little cheeky Bailey's. How do I like to drink it? On ice. 
We had a really nice afternoon. After lunch, Thomas came home and he had had a good lunch date. Then he had an autism appointment. My groceries got delivered, which I'm about to show you. And then my friend Tracy came over and we just had like a really nice catch up and visit and exchange Christmas presents. So now it's just after four. Let me show you all the groceries. So they were delivered by IGA. She's very excited about it. The fact that I didn't have to like cart these around is incredible. Yeah, they deliver groceries. In case you missed that video, um, I ordered all of these online and you can now get them delivered to your house. If you didn't watch that video, you should go watch it because you can um, win an IGA gift card. But this is what we're dealing with right now. Just Thomas already got into the chips and all the groceries to show you. So I'm gonna do, We'll do like a little bit of a grocery haul, I think. Let me just get you situated. So I don't think I need to show you everything, but I will show you some things that are fun. Like for example, I had told you that I bought the Zevia because it's heavy and it was fun to know that I didn't have to cart it in with Thomas. So I get the ginger root beer flavor and I like this because it's just sweetened with stevia. So there's no like artificial sweetener in it. And to me, it's a really good alternative to pop. Like I haven't, really had pop in a long time. Then I also got the ginger ale to mix with, you know, the aforementioned um, alcohol haul. We got the ancient grains with quinoa bread. A couple things of smoked tofu. These are just things that I thought would be good to have on hand. And like the unicorn's gonna be here. And like I said, we may have some company coming, coming in and out. And so I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, enough stuff. Avocado dip and a dilly dip. Well, that's upside down to have with some vegetables or some crackers we're doing a charcuterie board tonight i'm making a really delicious stir fry which i will show you and it needed tahini so i got some sesame tahini cranberry sauce for the old unicorn some daya cheese hummus um, because you know we're doing a charcuterie tomorrow night for christmas eve and i wanted to make sure that i also had cheese a lot of mushrooms, way too many mushrooms. This was my concern, but that's okay. A bunch of mushrooms, which will be good for tonight's stir fry, and then good for like um, veg and dip. And then, you know, just some broccoli, a bro bunch of broccoli. I got a few Brussels sprouts because I didn't know if anyone else was gonna like Brussels sprouts except for me. Bunch of avocados for avocado toast. Ooh, and I got a variety of ripeness, which makes me very happy. Lemons. An onion, some apples, lime, again, for the drinks. As I said in the video where I did the order, I got a 10 pound bag of breasted potatoes because I didn't have to carry them. And they were on sale, which I love a sale. Some cucumbers. Thomas, this is his favorite vegetable. And again, great for veggies and dip. Snap peas, some peppers some celery. I'm really happy with all the quality of this produce as I'm showing it to you because you just never know like when someone else is doing your food shop for you. Carrots, green onion. Thomas already got into the chips. I like these pepperoncini kettle chips. He was not a super fan of them. <laughs> then some um, Gardein chicken strips. This is the frozen veg blend that I show all the time, the California blend. We got jumble berries, which will be for waffles, which I showed in yesterday's video, as well for smoothies, because while we will be indulging in some treats and stuff over the holidays, we also still really want to try and be healthy and eat well. Um, organic edamame, which are already shelled. Edamame are a great source of protein and super easy to put in anything, and Thomas enjoys them. I got spinach for everything. Ooh, a purple cabbage for tonight's stir fry. I'm so excited. It's like amazing when someone else has done your groceries for you. <laughs> ah, and then just delivered them to the house. Oh, this was um, the unicorn's stuffing for Christmas day. Some crackers again for the cheese and crackers. He's gonna go and pick up like some meats for the charcuterie. I got a couple of the no salt added veggie broth. I really like to cook my quinoa in this and I thought it would be nice to have on hand in case I wanna make some soup or 
just it's just nice to have veggie broth around his bagels that he requested. So this is groceries for the next week, basically. Whether we have company that randomly shows up or just like I don't have to now think about anything, which I'm really happy about. So I'll link the video down below if you want to see when I ordered it and if you'd like to enter to win the IGA gift card. I just can't believe that they were delivered to my house. It's so amazing. I also feel like while this is a lot, like this is definitely way more than I would normally buy in a week. It's just because, you know, Christmas. Um, I definitely bought less than I would have if we were in the store because I wasn't tempted. I just had my list and then I inputted it and then I sh bought it, which I really liked. Like there wasn't any impulse buying or that sort of thing. I'm really happy with all of the quality of the produce. I was kind of worried about that, like whether they would pick ripeness that I like, but it's perfect. So now I'm gonna put all of this away. all cut up ready to go I am making the classic stir fry from the deliciously Ella cookbook we're watching all of the friends Christmas episodes and <laughs> I need three tablespoons of soy sauce and I am sick of having these in my fridge so even though I definitely have a bottle of soy in the fridge the unicorn is cutting up the soy and measuring it for me I mean if that isn't love <laughs> Here's the cookbook, in case you were curious. It's the Deliciously Ella by Ella Woodward. And I made the classic stir fry, which is one of my favorites from this cookbook. I haven't made this actually in years, so I'm pretty excited. Instead of noodles, I just made quinoa in veggie broth. Curious if any of you have Disney Plus. And if you do, what are you watching? Because we could use some suggestions. This is basically where I plan to sit for the next week. We need to have a really chill Christmas vacation. So we watch the Santa Claus one, two, and three. We watch the Winnie the Pooh Christmas. What should we watch? Doesn't have to be Christmas stuff because in a couple of days, Christmas will be over. So let me know what if you're watching um, Disney Plus, if you got it. Do you have it? What do you like? What do you recommend? I am just sitting here Still working on getting today's video up. It is 8 o'clock, so it's a late one. Sorry, friends. But it's coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. 